The Life and Sad Ending of David Canary David Hoyt Canary was born August 25, 1938, in Elmwood, Indiana, but he grew up in Massillon, Ohio. He was in the middle son of Hilary Canary and Lorena Hill. His brothers are actor John Canary and writer Hilary Glenn Canary. The brothers are purportedly great-great-nephews of Martha Jane Canary, a.k.a. Calamity Jane. Canary starred as an end on both offense and defense at Massillon Washington High School, where he graduated in 1956. The school honored him as a distinguished citizen 35 years later in 1991. He earned a football scholarship to the University of Cincinnati, where he was a three-year letterman from 1957 to 1959 and the recipient of the John Peace Award as the program's best lineman in his junior and senior years. Canary trained as a singer at the university's College of Arts and Sciences and received his bachelor's degree in music in 1960. He was picked by the Denver Broncos in the inaugural 1960 American Football League draft. Instead of signing with the Broncos, he opted to head to New York City to become an actor. He served two years in the United States Army, where he entered an all-Army entertainment contest in 1963. After ending his service, Canary moved to Los Angeles to continue his acting career. Canary's most notable stage performance was on Broadway in the original production of Tennessee Williams' Clothes for a Summer Hotel, which starred Geraldine Page. Then he had a semi-regular role as Russ Gehring on the primetime serial Peyton Place. In 1967, he appeared in the now-classic Western movie Ombre, in which he was featured with Paul Newman, Richard Boone, and Cameron Mitchell. Canary guest-starred in a two-part episode of CBS's Gunsmoke entitled Nitro, played mobster Frank Gusenberg in the film The St. Valentine's Day Massacre, and appeared in the short-lived CBS western Dundee and the Coolhane. David Dortort, the creator-producer of Bonanza, saw Canary in Ombre and cast him in the role of the new ranch foreman, Candy Canaday. Dortort said that Canary was the kind of kid who comes on and suddenly there's nobody else on the screen. Canary came to international prominence in 1967 on the Western series Bonanza. Then Canary left Bonanza in June of 1970 after a contract dispute. He returned after D Dan Blocker's death in May 1972. Canary said that he loved Bonanza except for filming in Nevada in 100 degree heat. The leading role of Candy Canaday in Bonanza turned David Canary into a bona fide TV star. In the next few years, he co-starred in series like Hawaii Five-0, alias Smith and Jones, and The Rookies. He also appeared in theater productions like Macbeth from March 22, 1973 through April 15, 1973, and Jacques Brel is alive and well and living in Paris. February 2nd, 1975 through March 23rd. Unfortunately, he never made it big as a movie star in his career. Some of his noteworthy movies have been Shark's Treasure and Posse in 1975, In a Pig's Eye, 1990, and Secret Santa, 1994. David Canary was recognized as one of the finest television actors. After appearing in Another World, 1981 to 82, he was cast in All My Children, 1983 to 2011. His dual portrayal of twins Adam and Stuart Chandler in the series immortalized his legacy. He reprised the role of Adam again in All My Children in 2013. The role earned him 15 Daytime Emmy nominations in the Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series category. He won it five times. In 1986, 88, 89, 93, and 2001. In his personal life, David Canary was married to Julie M. Anderson from July 4, 1965, until their divorce in 1971. They have a daughter, Lisa Canary, born 1966, who's also known as Diamond. 
He was happily married to Maroon Maloney from May 8, 1982, until his death. They had two children together, a son, Christopher, born in 1983, and a daughter, Catherine Katie, born 1986. Sadly, Canary died on November 16, 2015, from Alzheimer's disease in Wilton, Connecticut, at the age of 77. He was cremated and ashes given to family.